Hillary Clinton, of course, announcing uh, her policies for the economic future of America. Whatever she announces, the very first thing that has to come to mind is, if it is a good thing, why didn't we do it eight years ago? Remember, we have a president uh, that is part of the Clintons' ideology. I mean, they're one and the same when it comes to almost all things uh, in the country and in the economy. Anything she says negative about the economy is a direct reflection on her support for President Obama and everything she has said about his economy and he has said in her, his economy. So she's going to have to be very careful about walking that very fine line. She is talking about becoming a green, clean energy superpower. Uh, what superpower? Is there a superpower out there in clean energy? I mean... We're going to be the, I mean, are we, I mean, I guess it's okay to say we would like to be a superpower, but there is no, there is no green energy superpower and frank power. And frankly, there's not going to be, but what that is code for is all of our utility bills are going to go up dramatically. She's not going to do that without dramatically impacting discretionary income on the American consumers who can barely afford to pay their health care costs let alone have their discretionary income, uh, income hurt anymore. And if they, if they get another hit on something that is not discretionary, if they get another hit on a staple like health care, a staple like electric bill, if they get another hit on that, we're doomed. We're doomed. So we're seeing this, the... Uh, tax Foundation, a nonpartisan group, has already said that Hillary Clinton is going to cost a minimum of 311,000 jobs immediately, and that's only going to get worse. She wants to make big investments, I quote, big investments in new jobs. What new jobs? She gonna, is the government going to hire a whole lot of people? Or investments is code for spending. So we're going to get deeper and deeper in debt. I don't have a problem with it. With, I mean, I do have a problem with the debt, but if you're going to have debt, you better have a growth plan because we, the reason we have the debt is because we've had no growth for the last eight years.